What's up guys, Harmon Felix here, coming at you with a different type of video today. In today's video, we're going to review the movie Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, so let's get started. Alright guys, so that movie, I'd say it's a 10 out of 10 guys. My, the best movie of 2018, of my opinion. I won't give any spoilers for right now, I'll let you guys know when I give some spoilers, but... But yeah, it was such a great movie. The Sony did an amazing job on the an animation. And it was so good, guys. Like, like viewing it, I couldn't get my eyes off the screen. I think it was like an hour and 56 minutes. But I don't I don't I just said that number off my mind. I don't remember. But yeah, it was so good, guys. You should go ahead and go see it at your nearest theater. But Spider-Man, you just got into you you, you could you made a general relationship with Miles Morales as a character is Spider-Man, and Spider-Verse, there's so many spider people, I won't name them so I don't spoil it, but yeah, so it was such a great movie that, oh my gosh, I couldn't, I couldn't get my eyes off screen, but yeah, it was very emotional, so in some parts, the it was very emotional, but I'm going to drop some spoilers, so if you don't want to hear some spoilers, if you haven't seen it, change the video right now. Spoilers are going to be dropped right now. Okay, so have you changed it? If I don't want to be spoiling it for you. But, alright guys, so basically the summary. So Kingpin is trying to resurrect his family. Because Spider-Man kind of killed him, but he kind of didn't. But he's trying to resurrect his family and trying to like um, mess with dimensions. So, and doing that, he, he basically released all these spider people, such as Spider-Noir. And then Penny Parker, which is like the anime um, Spider-Man, and, she, and she's like a little girl. And that she's she's an amazing character. There's Spider Gwen. There's Spider Noir. Spider Noir is from the 30s, so he's basically black and white. His whole life is a black and white, which is pretty funny. And he's played by Jack Nicholson and Miles Morales. But Peter Parker. There's two Peter Parkers. There's Peter Parker that died. Yeah, Peter Parker died in in like the first 30 minutes and he had blonde hair but then there's another Peter Parker who basically is in another dimension all these spider people are in different dimensions so the Peter Parker that's in another dimension he bit his basically his life basically fell apart it didn't work out with Mary Jane and he has a gut and he he's un he's untaken care of so he, he doesn't shave he he's he's his life is a mess basically and so he has to coach so some so how that how Miles Morales and and this Peter Parker met is that Peter Parker died and then so Miles Morales in Miles Morales in in memory of Peter Parker he went to the tomb he bought his costume that's where Stanley made his cameo he um he so Stanley so, sold the the costume to Miles Morales. Oh, but in the water. Uh, it was actually Nicholas Cage. What did I say? John. Yeah, well, Nicholas Cage. Thank you for correcting me. I don't remember. But Nicol I met Nicholas Cage. Um, but, yeah, so I lost track. So Miles Morales went to Peter Parker's tomb, and then he got, he got spooked by someone touching his arm, and basically it's a Peter Parker from another dimension. And he's basically... So but he basically is shook, and so he basically goes through all this journey, and then he is is now his coach, and so he basically coaches them, and then they all the all the spider people meet at Aunt May's house, and Aunt May is kind of a really cool person in the movie, and so they meet in this a layer and meet. Okay, imagine a bat layer, but a Spider Man layer. It's pretty cool. They have all these suits there, all the Spider Man suits, and all the um Batman wheel, all, all the Batmobiles and Batman the Spider Mobiles. Um, but yeah, so they all meet up, and then, so, they're all, they're all from different dimensions, right? So they need, so the more time they spent in that dimension, their bodies start to react, they react to the dimension they're in, so they can't cope with that dimension. They need to go home, they need to go to their dimension to survive. So that's their goal, they're trying to go home, and try to destroy the thing, which will cause a black hole, which is Kingpin trying to create to resurrect his family, but he doesn't realize the damage he will do to the Earth. But uh, he's basically doing a black hole, and they're, they're basically um, trying to erase that black hole 
And the visuals of this thing is just amazing. The Sony did an amazing job. And so they basically um, stopped the black hole from happening and they opened the portal so all the spider people could go home. And Alright, so Spider-Man is in a movie and before he went into the portal, he said, that's all folks, and, and because Bugs Bunny says that, because he's a cartoon, and he's a really funny character in the movie, and so I think Miles Morales said, are we, are we allowed to say that legally? And I thought that was really funny. They actually broke the fourth wall a couple of times in the movie. Uh, I don't remember another time they, they broke the fourth wall. But yeah, they, they, it was a really funny movie, guys. And so they all got to go home, all the spider people got, got to go home. And then before Spider-Man, so all, all the Spider-Mans got to go home. And then so Miles Morales is left to defeat Kingpin in trying to save the world, basically. So he, that's when he got to, got, because after that, during this movie, he's trying to um, gain his, his, gain the power to express his powers. I don't know how to explain that, but. His powers, he has a lot of powers, he, he has electrical powers, he could disappear, he has the webs, he's Spider-Man. But yeah, I thought that was cool, I didn't know that about Miles Morales, but he, he has electrical powers, he could zap people if he want to. But yeah, so he, and then, I forgot to say this, so his uncle, he, he, he builds a, an emotional relationship with his uncle, and he, because he wants to be like him, and he likes to do graffiti, Miles Morales likes to do a lot of graffiti. And basically his uncle, this is a big plot twist in the movie. Um, a, lot of ad, um, a lot of villains in the movie are basically Kingpin's um, um, henchmen. So the henchmen include ba basically Scorpion, which is a really cool pet character. He speaks Spanish, but I thought, I thought that was pretty interesting. And Lydia Octavius, that was such a cool character. And so she's basically the female former doc of Dr. Octopus. Such a cool character. And the Prowler, such cool characters too. So basically, the, the plot twist in the middle of the movie, his uncle is the Prowler. So basically, like, he's all shook. And then basically, um, in the movie, because they find out who they are. But, um, Miles Morales finds out he's the, um, his uncle is the Prowler, and his uncle finds out that his nephew is the Spider-Man. And so he, um, Kingpin um, hired him to kill Miles Morales. And so Miles Morales takes off his mask before he kills him. And they basically, he couldn't, the Prowler couldn't kill Miles Morales. So basically right then and there, Kingpin shot on the Prowler. So basically his uncle died just like all, a lot of family members of each Spider-Man died. So for him it was his uncle, just like um, with Uncle Ben. But yeah, so they all got to go home and... Um, Spider-Man is basically the Spider-Man of his, of his city, which is Brooklyn. The movie takes place in New York, if you didn't know. But yeah, every, uh, it ends very happily, so... Um, um, Miles Morales becomes basically popular in the city. And I don't think I'm missing anything, but if I am, if you've seen the movie, let me know in the comments. But there's an end credit scene, which is really funny. They basically bring the meme to life of, you know, with the pointy Spider-Man. Uh, of, of the old, original Spider-Man. Because, okay, so here's... you. Wait till all the credits pass. So at the end of the credits, it's basically Spider-Man 2099. He's talking to this chick, and he basically has the dimension thing where he could go wherever you want. And he says, and the lady asks him, where do you want to go? And he says, I want to go to day one. And so he's basically pointing, he has a pointing battle with the original Spider-Man. I thought that was funny. Um, that's a pretty cool scene. And the Stan Lee cameo, was very, it was pretty emotional because he passed away, rest in peace, Stan Lee. But, his, yeah, I'm pretty sure I talked about it. Wait. Yeah, I did. But, yeah, that's, I actually brought, this is the only pop I have from the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, which is Green Goblin. And in the set, I actually can know the people in the set. There's Miles Morales with his suit on. Miles Morales with the costume he bought from Stan Lee. That was pretty cool. And then there's Peter Parker. So there's Spider-Gwen. She's in the, the Spider-Man Noir. There's a... I think that was Walgreens exclusive, but that was like basically 30 Spider-Man, his life is in black and white. The Prowler, that was pretty cool, and then Green Goblin, which is this one. Green Goblin is actually pretty huge in the movie. Um, we didn't get to see a lot of him, he was basically in the first scene, 
and then we didn't see the rest of them because I think he died. But yeah, there's a ten-ish of them. So I'm I'm gonna collect all the set. I don't probably not the the rare ones, but like Spider Ham. But for the wave two, I think they have to make a Lydia Octavius for the wave two of Spider Man and Spider Verse. If there is gonna be, they have to make Scorpion, and they have to make King Pin. They're not, but they can't make King Pin into a normal. Size. I think it has to be like 6 inches or 10 inches because that dude is big. He's big in the movie. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'm not good with reviews as you guys. I'm a Funko Pop unboxing guy. But that's going to be it for this video. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to your channel, subscribe. And let me know if I should do reviews more. I don't do reviews that often. Maybe that's why this review is probably like some, somewhat bad. But yeah, let me know how... Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was to you in the comments down below. Let me know how you felt about it. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video. See you guys next time.